from dishing rubbish bins, they must not go out uh, opening government projects, you know, 15 or 16 days before the election. They must not have family fun days where it's funded by uh, the, the Fiji First Party. It might be actually a breach of the electoral degree. Uh, you know, our lawyers will, will can, can answer that. Uh, but that is what we are saying. So, our definition of a dirty election is what I've said. And the uh, last um, what do you think? I mean, me, uh, the media has been regulated, right? With the recent type of reports that have been emerging in, uh, in the media. Do you, what do you think about the inaction of MIDA? Well, right from the day ago when the media decree was put in place, we condemned it. We still condemn the media decree. And we feel that the Media Development Authority and the fact that the director of the Media Development uh, Authority, like one of the Fiji First candidates who was a host of Ayana Vila Matnagar, there are serious question marks on the independence of the work of MIDA and the, the serious questions on the independence of some of the journalists and some of the media organizations covering this election. I think we understand the restrictions in the media decree. Some journalists are trying very hard. Some media organizations are very are trying very hard under very restrictive conditions. One media organization is operating under a, a condition where the license, it's a publicly listed company. But this government has chosen to give them only six months license. It sends two signals. One, it sends a very bad signal to the investors. It's a commercial company. No investor worth its uh, image and credibility would want to invest in a country where they know that a license to operate a business will be given every six months and on other conditions. So, what we are saying is, what I want to say to the journalist is keep your principle, keep your calm, keep your cool, do the right thing. I know there are difficulties for journalists. Some journalists, and they are in a minority, are going beyond the limit of shame in, in their biasness, in what they write. So to them, I say, look beyond this election. Look beyond this election. Look to the future. To the majority of the journalists, I salute them. I think they are doing a very good job. They're working very hard. They're doing their best to inform the people of this country what's going on. And so, I am giving an undertaking that as soon as we get, to, we get into government, that's one of the things that we will do in the first 100 days is to remove the media decree.